Hi, and thank you for clicking through to watch this episode on trust money, previously known as earnest money. The trust money is the buyer's method to notify the seller that they are actually earnest about the offer that they're making on their property and that they're not going to just make an offer and then walk away uh, 10, 15, even 20 days into the contract without having some recourse. It allows the seller the ability, if the buyer defaults, to keep the trust money as uh, damages for lack of days on the market for showings and for marketing. So if you're writing a real estate contract as the buyer, you need to make sure that you protect yourself, but also make sure that you put enough trust money up so that the seller understands your true intent and interest in their property. As a seller, when you're reviewing offers from buyers, take a look at that trust money and make sure that they're making a valuable statement that they wouldn't just walk away from a certain amount of money as trust money and lose that and forfeit it should they decide down the road without one of their contingencies that they no longer want to pursue buying your property. So who holds this earnest money or trust money during the real estate transaction. Typically, the listing agent's brokerage keeps that money in a trust account. The money is always earmarked as the buyer's money. The only time that it becomes the seller's money and is forfeited by the buyer is when the buyer defaults on the contract. I've seen experiences in mine where the buyer just decided they didn't want the house two weeks before closing, and they called up and said, We are okay forfeiting our trust money. We just do not want the house. Something's changed and they had a change of opinion, but they did not use one of their contract contingencies that let them out of the contract without default. So the trust money is very important and it's always the buyer's money. So when the buyer puts up that money, it's not like they're losing it. The buyer is just simply holding or deferring that money and allowing it to be held in a trust account until closing. On the day of closing, the closing disclosure will show a credit in their favor for the trust money that they've already put up. Now, if their down payment is actually lower on their mortgage than the trust money, then they'll get that credited back to them. I hope you found a lot of this information very helpful and informative. Trust money is something to take very serious. Uh, in Middle Tennessee with your uh, real estate contract. If you have any further questions, please comment down below or give us a call 615-587-5843. Mike Rumble's a relocation engineer here. I'd be glad to talk to you about trust money and uh, glad to talk to you about anything to do with real estate, especially around the Franklin, Tennessee area. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe, follow future episodes, and enjoy it. Have a great day.